and then playing the NPC. Absolutely. Not just yeah. playing the NPC from a perspective of some kid who had Pro Tools. No, nah, not Pro Tools. Fruity Loops all Fruity his Loops, life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have to you have to transition yourself, but you must become a musician in order for it to sound like music, which is why a lot of the stuff you heard tonight sounds more thematic mm -hmm. at, in places. You know what I'm saying? That Webster's New Collegiate Dictionary, nobody do that. God, that's that's a beautiful track. Nobody, nobody would do that. Why would you chop? Why would because people most people why would you even chop those words yeah. up? You know what I'm saying? But it's it's the feeling and the groove behind it. You know, because I heard the record and I was like, okay. Mad Lib Dilla sampled this. I'm already gonna fuck with it off bat, you know. But I was like, okay, I just don't. I, I the little piece that they have, that's that Webster's New Collegiate Dictionary. Mm -hmm. What they didn't add is all the funky shit that went around it. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't funky. Most of the shit out of sample is like some old folk shit. And we already know that because the shit that you did with that fifth dimension shit that <laughs> nobody will ever know. Because I don't know how you get soul out of fifth dimension, but you know what I'm saying you got it out of it. So, but. Nobody, you know what I'm saying, most of the shit I sample isn't like some funk rock, you know what I'm saying, uh, soulful shit. Most of that shit is like some real earthy, grainy, psychedelic folk shit. Right. But you learn how to put hip-hop, elements of hip-hop into it. Because hip-hop is, at its base, is drums. That's what it is. It's drums. Drums are always at the forefront of everything you hear in hip-hop. For a specific reason, it goes back to Africa. Africa Bimbada. He knew the drums were the were the message. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's drums at its basis. Now, what you put around those drums, you know what I'm saying, creates the music. True. You know, and you have to learn your pockets. You gotta learn your spaces. You gotta learn all this stuff. See, I had to be a student about all that, man, because. You know, a lot of, like like I was saying, a lot of kids don't study what it means to sit in the pocket when you have a snare. What it means, you know what I'm saying, to be in a pocket with all with your snare in your hi hat. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, it's it's a it's a it's a it sits, but it's a pocket, man. And it's when I say pocket, it's not so much volume. Pocket is like you got your kick here, you got your hi hats here. The pocket is gonna be right there. That snare. When you when you know a snare is in the pocket, and you hear it, it hits you right around this area, like your chest or your, or right there in your solar plex. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but everything has a feeling. You know what I'm saying? The right. kick is gonna be mostly just about your whole upper body. Boom, boom. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. That snare is gonna stick you right there in the middle. You know, so those hi hats are gonna dance around that place. But it all works like that, and it all works together, you know. And then the music swirls around. That's how you know you've got an original sound. It's a freaking symphony. I mean, yeah. I don't know how else I. Can